Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Now, when we left off, we actually had a very, very good start, and I was incredibly surprised by this, and I am hopeful that we will continue with this bout of good luck. So, this is where we first entered, and I decided that we were going to go to the right. Now, if I... Oh, wait a minute. Why would I want to go to the right when we have that blessing, or should we say, when we have that ring that gives us food every time we go to a shop? Is that what we have right now? Wait a minute. Am I getting mixed up? No, we do have the Guildmaster's Ring. See? There we are. Okay, so this is good. So we can head on this way. The Maiden as well? Whoa. Okay, we're getting some really good luck right here. So. Let's. Hmm. I'm actually really not sure what to ask for. I'd like to be blessed. Let's do it. One blessing card. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Oh, hmm. That's not incredibly what I wanted, but still. Lose five food! Oh no, we should have taken the food from the maiden right there. Ah, uh, we should have always go for the food. Well, at least we gain one food from entering into the shop, so I suppose this is a free move in essence. And we do have 16 gold, so can we do anything with that? No. Any kills made using an axe grants the player three health. Hmm, not incredibly good. Are there any curses that I can remove right now? No, of course not. Can I sell anything? I could sell the axe and the shield. If I so desired. Because we do have the Skeleton King shield after all. So, should I? I don't actually know because we have 16 after all. So, ah, yeah, okay. Let's sell the shield. There we are. And then let's buy the five food that we just lost. There we go. <laughs> that would be a little better, wouldn't it? Yes, I think that would be very nice indeed. So, then we can head on to the next card. And then after that, there'll be another shop. What is this? Ah, Secret Society. I don't believe I have two blessings, or do I? Down a dark alley. Hmm. Do I have two blessings? Maybe I do. You have the stink of the holy about you. He slams the... Oh, I see. Oh, right. We don't need two blessings for this guy. We need two blessings for the other demon. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, okay. So, apparently, being blessed at all when you come across the secret society, not a good idea, of course. So, yeah. Mm. We've come across another shop, at least, so we'll be able to get another food back. There we go. I know that going into the shop does take a little bit of time, but I suppose it's worth it just to get the one food. And we do get a chance to take a look at what is actually in here, because if... Ooh, I actually thought that was Hag's Wraps for a second. I was going to rage, but no, we are fine. We are actually pretty good. Okay, and the Healer's Ring is actually only 15 gold, so if we get 15 gold again, we'll be able to very easily purchase that. So now it is onwards to... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Never. I know... You guys said in the comments last time, if you'd just not done the blacksmith, you might have actually succeeded. And yes, I might concur about that. Yeah. Okay, so the Royal Treasury is also something that I do believe we will be leaving. Because last time I did that, I actually lost 50% max health. So, yeah, definitely want to lose that. Okay, so there we are. Sea Voyage. Thank you very much. Let us board the ship. I do not mind about knowing what the other cards were in that area. So... We're going to be making our way to the Traveling Jeweler, I believe, first. Angry Guildmaster. Well, we could attempt to steal from him. I don't think we can lose anything from... Oh my goodness, huge failures? I actually didn't know. Yep. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Very nice indeed. As you pull yourself up, you steal some supplies from the rider. 40 gold. Wow, that was well worth it, I do believe. Well worth it. So, let's head on. Maze of Traps. Okay, we can definitely do this for some very easy gain cards. I like that a lot. And we will be attempting to get through without a scratch, just in case we come across any lava golems. Okay, that is not without a scratch. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> let's try to avoid the rest then, shall we? Yes, there we go. Excellent. And there we go. That was actually very nice indeed. Very nice and quick.
Most likely going to be gold, although we did get a... Oh, wow. Attack speed is increased by 10%, but cooldown is also increased. I like that a lot. And we also get a chance to draw... Wow. I don't know. What does this do? A hit on the player gives the player's next attack a 25% damage bonus. This effect can stack up to three times. Ah, I don't actually know about that. That actually sounds really good, but I'm thinking maybe Fleet Cuffs would be the way to go here, because we already have an incredibly good weapon, which does 32 damage. We have a very nice helm that increases our attack speed by 10%, and we don't have any gloves, so I think we'll take the Fleet Cuffs. Oh, wow. We actually get all equipment. That's really not great. So, these are all very, very good cards. But I'm looking for other things, so I'm going to say put these on the bottom of the deck. There we go. Aha, so we didn't really get any gold. I was actually hoping for gold, but apparently not. Okay, so what is this? Oh, cave escape! Oh, okay, so yeah, this is actually really great. So now what we can do is we can just turn back, go over to the shop, and this gives us a curse. Haunted. Whenever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. I bet Hag's wraps are in here. What do you bet? What do you bet that Hag's wraps are right in here? I bet 41 gold. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. If it is, that is going to be insane. Ah, uh, don't do that to me, game, please. No, no Hag's wraps. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so we do have this. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. No benefit if they were already healed. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about that, to be honest. Okay, we can buy food. Does that actually count as being an item? I don't think it does, so I think I can purchase quite a few of these. There we are. Okay, I hope. Unless it just gives me the update now that I've been cursed many, many times. No. Okay, thank goodness. So, yeah, we can just head out through the cave escape with quite some relief in our voices right there and we can now head on to the king of scales so i hope that he is going to be on this floor ember town hero yeah we'll do this ask him his troubles yeah there we are if you have any armor you all fighting those jackals and make them pay yes we will trading post Ooh, not much use but i'll trade you for food supplies Ah, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, if I had maybe 23 food, then I might do that. But right now, I don't think I really want to risk it. So let's, yeah, let's do that. We're losing another 10 max health, thanks to the curse of the King of Scales. And we are going to be refusing to deal with the thieving scum. And of course, yeah, it is always a two of dust, which is really strange. Because I would have thought at this point, they would be giving us King of Dust, Jack of Dust, Queen of Dust, perhaps. But yeah, this is going to be relatively simple, I do believe. Which is nice for me. I like simple. As usually, we do have quite the difficulty. And there we go. Take that guy out, no problem at all. So, now we can just take this guy out. We can wail on him, no problem. And lose no HP whatsoever. Mm. Everything's going well. This is actually turning out to be... No, no, no. Don't let me say it. Yes, don't let me say it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, wait a minute. What's that? Devil's Carnival, Merchant's Favor, and Twisted Canyon. Okay, thank goodness. That's nice to know. Three food gain as well. Very nice. So let's head on over here. Desert of the Damned. Oh, I see. Let's attempt to sell it because even though we sometimes fail, I think the success card might actually give us some really good benefits. So yeah, let's do that. There we are, thank you very much. One gold gain card. Do not worry, stranger. I shall hide this evil deep inside catacombs of ever-increasing complexity, filled with deadly creatures and lethal traps. Sounds like a game. Oh, yes. Goodness me, sounds like a job for Lara Croft. Yes, who else? 25 gold right there, very nice. So let's head on. Dark Crystal, yeah, probably not going to be doing this one. I am Brasagra the Wizard, and I have a proposition for you, adventurer. I have located a powerful dark crystal, but the cave that holds it is infested with lava golems. Oh, yes. 
If you go and clear the cave for me, I will fashion the gem into a magical device with miraculous healing properties, which we may both use in the future. So what say you, ruffian? Will you aid me and yourself? This is where I get a little bit worried, because I have 13 food, 33 gold, and full health. And if I come across something with 6 of lava golems and 6 of scales or something, never going to happen. So I'm going to refuse it this time. I am going to be really quite cowardly right now, because I just don't want to... Yep, yeah, there we go. As you see, the King of Scales is right here, so we're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing as much damage as we can to this fellow, and not letting him do any damage to us. At least I hope so. And I was hoping for a different map, but so be it. Okay, come on. Let's do some damage. There we go. Okay, so this is going to take quite some time, I do believe. It's going to take a little bit of time. So let's try and do some damage. There we go. Try and do some damage. No, I was hoping to do some damage, but these melee units are actually very difficult. They appear to be quite irritating. As well as the mages, of course. Remember, I used to take out the mages usually, but... Yeah. They are going to be incredibly irritating. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe that they would do something like this. There we are. Okay. So far, I gotta say, it's actually not going too badly. Although, he is... Uh, he is actually tracking my movement now, which is rather irritating, I gotta say. Because that means I'm not able to get behind him and attack him for free. Okay. He's tracking it a little bit there. Ow. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of damage, but thankfully desperate measures scales. Oh! Is he down? I think that's him. I think that's him dead. Yeah, now I can go to town on you guys. Oh, yes. This is what you get. Okay, let's stun him. Stun him with the Skeleton King shield. Look at the stun on this. It is insane. Yeah, you go over there. That's what you get. Oh, my goodness. There we go. I have a feeling that this is it. Okay, stun that guy. Look at the stun on that. That is insane. It's not just a bash, it's actually a stun. Look at that. Look at that stun. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, I like it. I like it. And there we go. That is it. Bask in the glory of this particular run. I cannot believe this run was so simple. <laughs> no idea. There you go. Wow. Phew. King of Scales has been defeated. Goodness me. Who would have thought it? And there we have it. New starting gear. Your starting equipment has been upgraded. Food or gold bonus. Each area you enter will be strewn with food or gold. Equipment bonus. At the start of your adventure, you gain an equipment card. Lizard Man Fire Armor. Oh my goodness. Lizard Man Fire Breathers will protect themselves with flame armor. Oh my goodness. They couldn't be more irritating. <laughs> Rat men have had their health increased, and lizard men have had their health increased as well. But there it is. That is it. That is the end of Hand of Fate by the looks of things, unless I were to do an endless mode. So who knows, but there it is. Let us take a look at our tokens, and what did we get? For protecting the druid's ritual, twilight ritual, and what did we get for defeating the king of scales? Blood Crescent, Master Ring, Ring of Peace, and Soldiers on Leave. And let us add the cards to our deck. And there we have it. And there is the credits. And there we go. Wow, I just got to say a big thank you to the developers of this game for initially giving me the key. I am fully disclosing of everything that happens around here and they did give me a steam key and I am very grateful for that because it enabled me to play an excellent game it enabled me to show you guys what kind of game it was and indeed I highly recommend it so yes with the release of Hand of Fate the actual full release it's coming out of early access very very soon and it will be in version 1.0, so yeah, 
pick it up if you want to have some fun with some roguelike action RPG elements and wow deck building as well I gotta say I really thoroughly enjoyed this series and if you guys want to see some endless mode let me know so I thank you for watching and I will see you next time